and welcome. My name is Pastor Paul Osayende and this is Truth TV. Okay, we're talking about consistency today, but before then, let's just look at some general truth. Okay, you wonder why Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 11 verse 13, when he said, I magnify my office. Now, he had to say that intentionally, I believe, because he was challenged within the house. Most times, the challenge we get comes from within the house. All right, he was sent to the Gentiles Why Peter was sent to the Jews. Okay, so there was some misunderstanding, I believe, as we experienced in Galatians chapter 2, verse 11 to 13. Uh, the record was that Peter was eating with the Gentiles, but when he saw uh, some Jews came in from Antioch, he withdrew from eating with the Gentiles. And uh, Paul saw that as offensive, and he challenged Peter to his face. Both the Jews and the Gentiles are relevant to God. So that's how massive the industry of God's vineyard is. No one man or woman or assembly or denomination can handle it. So we have different offices within this large industry of God's vineyard. So we are assigned to different areas of life and godliness. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible says, According to the divine power of God, He has granted for us all things pertaining to life and godliness okay so we all can be talking about the same thing some will focus on finance some will focus on demons some will focus on church administration some will focus on on business some will focus on relationship and marriage some will focus on parenting and there and that now he said he has granted for us all things that pertains to life and godliness according to the knowledge of him who has called us to his glory and excellence. Whatever we talk about, whether it is relationship, whether it is finance, whether it is politics, whether it is governance, whether it is business, or whatever it is, whether it is marriage, it must be according to the knowledge of Jesus Christ who has called us to his glory and excellence. I have a sister, she understands her from the perspective of the Bible. You know, it was from her I got to understand that it was not sin that brought her to the world. Her was introduced to humanity by God in Genesis chapter 1, verse 29 and 30, because the body of man was taken from the earth. So the body of man will need maintenance with this herd. Okay, so when, when you see someone major build a ministry around herd from the perspective of the Bible to help humanity because it pertains to life anyway, you want to see that person as a traditionalist who is probably a sinner. No, that's not true. It is the same attitude we have towards women who gave birth through CS or cesarean section that is cutting the woman to bring out the baby. It doesn't make you less a Christian to have a baby through CS. What most women normally say is that I want to give birth like the Hebrew woman. <laughs> okay? Now, believe me, if there was CS from the beginning, many Hebrew women would have taken the option of CS to have their babies. And in fact, why do you want to be like the Hebrew woman? Why not be like a Nigerian woman who is God's daughter? It's like me saying, I want to be like Abraham or Peter. Abraham longed to see what Peter saw. And in Peter's time, Jesus told them, there are many things I would have loved to tell you, but you can't bear them now. How be it, when the Holy Spirit is come, he will bring you to the knowledge of all of these things. And I am in the time of the Holy Spirit that Peter wasn't. So why would I want to look back to want to be like Peter or Abraham? It's an insult, all right? Be yourself and it's okay to deal with God as you.